Well, 10 years, no, it's actually it's nine years of FrostCon, with this being FrostCon 10. Uh, it was a wild ride. Uh, for some of us, it was like, we have been at CCC camp last weekend, so it's, I, I know of people who were actually went from CCC camp to DEPConf last week in Heidelberg, and now at FrostCon, you're the real heroes, in my opinion. And we won't bore you much. We have a little bit of facts, some, some, funny, some funny pictures. And most importantly, the questions we always get asked, this has been the biggest FrostCon ever. In actual numbers, this means we, this year we had about 2,000 visitors, which is... Uh, about 200 more than last year, yeah. so the batches were out of stock, the bags were out of stock, which is pretty cool. So we had, we are very proud that so many people came to our conference and enjoyed the 10th anniversary with us. Also, the kids track, which is called Frog Clubs, organized by Tech Kids. I don't know if they are here. Any Tech Kids here? No. no. Okay. Um, they had also. A lot of participants, they had four workshops, which were participated by 67 children or youths. Um, ten speakers between t 11 and 15 years old, and um, is there more to say? No. No. They had but it's, it's great, it's, they have their own sub-conference, they camp here in, uh, in the base camp. Uh, we have to thank them also because yeah. we get uh, very cheap rates there, because we booked the whole place with kids. And they have all a lot of fun, so yeah. cool stuff. And while we are at... <laughs> while we are at, uh, on, the, on the topic of thanking people, I, I, I guess we have forgotten somebody just preemptively, but... Ah, never mind. <laughs> Uh, first, we need to thank uh, the guys who um, record all this. I, I, we might have noticed in all those, now we, 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 last year we had five lecture rooms, now we have seven. And we had uh, recording and video live video streaming in all of them. Uh, most of the talk, uh, I, I believe all of the talks from yesterday are already online. Most of the talks from today, like the keynote is already online on YouTube, on, the, on Media CCCDE. And so we have to uh, thank the team from the C3 Walk um, that do an awesome job. <laughs> also, this wasn't, wouldn't be possible if, uh, with the guys from Eventphone. Um, we, uh, would you just stand up there in the corner? You two. These, these two guys there. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Without without them, we would be running around much much more and uh, just calling someone to tell them this is broken, please fix it. And somebody suddenly appears. That's that is awesome. And for that, next are our yeah. We have to thank our exhibitors, the projects, and the sponsors, um, which all take part in this amazing event, which makes it special because you, you can meet the developers of like Debian or uh, other open source projects, uh, CMS Garden, for example, just to pick a few, not no, in no specific weight or order. Um, and also our uh, speakers, which attended this event, we have some two great keynotes and a lot of other great talks from uh, also recurring speakers like Anna Filina from Canada, which I've, which is, I've seen she's entered here, and also a lot of lot of new speakers this year. We had a lot of fun, and I hope you had a lot of fun listening to the talks of them. Yeah, this uh, wouldn't be possible without the help of about like 50, 60 volunteers this year. If you have the number. It's it's always too little, but uh, those guys who show up do an amazing do amazing work, and I really like to, to thank everybody who wears those green shirts with Frostcon crew. And if you see one of them, just go for him, give them a pat on the head, shake their hand, and say them thank you. Uh, pat, pat, pat on the back, sorry. And, uh,
Doing an event like this isn't, doesn't come cheap, so we need uh, companies who pay for all of this. Uh, here you see uh, our, the list of our sponsors. Uh, they make this possible, and we spent a lot of money this year, but uh, it was worth it, in my opinion. And um, we, of course, also need to thank the guys who spent the Many people are here for this two days, but organizing a two-day event is like a, takes like eight eight months. We really started in, in back in January with uh, sending out mailings to our sponsors, and uh, we have a team of like 20 people. Some of them are here. Yeah, they can come up to the stage right now, so you can applaud to them. Come on, come here, please. We are on the group. Come on, all the all the black and blue shirts which spent most of their free time to organize this conference. <laughs> and so just to say you see we're many luckily we are many so everybody has to take only little make a little time and the whole week before this conference <laughs> to make this happen and as you can see also the next generation of Froscon August coming so the next 50 years are safe <laughs> but we are not doing this alone. We do this in partnership with this university, especially the Department of Computer Science from our university, represented by Mr. Taylor Thomas. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Just a few words. I want to thank you, the whole Frostcon team, uh, for this fantastic conference. About 10 years ago, there came some students one of the scientific staff come to me and said, well, we have the idea of doing such a conference. And I said, okay, well, let's try it. And uh, they did it all these, these 10 years. Some of them are nearly since the first conference. I'm, 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 I think I'm the last, last, the last organizer. <laughs> last organizer standing. <laughs> but, uh, well, all of them, some of the following conferences appeared, worked as helpers, supporters, now they are in the organization team, and they all did a great job over the, these many years. And I have to thank him in the name of the university for doing such a great job. They are so perfect organized. Uh, I think some of our university staff should look how they do that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I want to invite you to return to our university next year, 2016. I think it may be the 11th CrossCon. Yeah. May, well, maybe we'll see in a couple of minutes. Um, talking about organization team, if you're interested in, in joining us, just drop us a mail and we'll talk to you afterwards, like October or something. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have two more things. The first one is after this ends here, we will shut down everything and we have a small party, after show party, if you want to participate. Uh, it's at the Voyager Cafe in Bonn, which is, uh, at this address, it's nearly uh, near to the Rhine. Near the Opera. Yeah, near the Opera. And uh, if you want to join us, come and can you can have a talk with us, because then we have time to talk. Uh, first time at this weekend, and so if you want to join us, come by. We have some food, there will be some beers and other stuff. Yeah. I was promised chunk. <laughs> we will see. One more thing. Oh. <laughs> Mm, somehow. Okay. The the main the main thing is missing here. It's we have a date for the next year because uh, the university also gave us a date for next year in advance. So the Frostcon 2016 will take place here as always, and uh, it will be on 21st and yeah, August 20th and 21st. Yeah, it's so the same weekend. Save as here. the date. Yeah. Yeah, we know it. So, thank you very much also to all our visitors for coming here and we hope you've enjoyed this conference and come back. Thank you.
Um, if you want to give us a hand, um, I still I believe there are still people running around uh, outside and tearing down uh, this event. Uh, Martin, do we still need people? Yes, yes. we always need. <laughs> Uh, so look for him and he will have work for you. And Ben, thank you very much for coming and see you next year.